Howdy, Possum Patty and little Miss Titi here today. And I'm coming on quick to share an idea with you. Yes, Mr. Possum wanted to go to the Dollar Tree to get some cleaner for our grill. And so, of course, I decided to go in and wander around because sometimes I get in inspired by the items that I see in the craft section or really any other section in the store. So he was looking for his barbecue cleaner and I was just looking around in the craft aisle and I saw this little wooden shape. Now this one is three dimensional. It's like a little box and it looks like a fairy castle, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like a fairy castle? Well, this gave me an idea. So I brought it home and I asked Mr. Possum, I said, can you take this apart without breaking it? He said, mm, he'll try. So he tried really hard with a utility knife, <laughs> cat's here, with a utility knife to take it apart. And he did a pretty good job, but just in case it split while he was taking it apart, I did trace it. Okay, so I had a backup pattern just in case. <laughs> so he took it apart and he took the front off and he took the back off. Now, my idea was to take these two pieces and make them into journal covers because you know I love my little wooden journal covers shaped journal cover right I said oh a little fairy castle I can make a fairy castle out of this and it did leave a mark on the inside where it was glued and where he was trying to get them apart but you know what that's okay I'm thinking that I could put a piece of cotton batting on here and then some material or something cover that up but it's going to be, you know what, anyway, I might glue these to a piece of cardboard because I'm going to need a little bit of an edge over here um, to, to attach the spine. But I'll show that to you later because while I was working on this, okay, so step one, I bought the three-dimensional one at the Dollar Tree, brought it home. Step two, I had Mr. Possum take it apart. Step three, I, I took the pattern that I traced and I traced two more. And just for funsies, I decided to decorate them. Now this is just on a file folder. If you hear banging on the door, that's my stinky winky woos. But Miss Titi doesn't want me to let her in right now. And look at that. I decorated the front. Now I left this little piece here because I was thinking of a straight spine, but I really need some room to attach uh, a support for the spine. So I'm gonna add a little piece onto there like that. So that is the front. And you know what? The doorway that I made, I said, you know, that looks like a flower. So I made little leaf hinges on there and then on the top of the castle I made three like daisy flower stone arrangements okay so this was super fun to do so then I decided to decorate the back and I put Angela Rose's Daisy Castle 2023 Possum Patty okay but again I'm going to add a little piece on there 
um, you know, so that I can have a place to attach the spine because I don't want the spine um, support to cover up part of the castle. So I'm making this, you know, and Angela Rose is sitting over there in her chair and she's like, well, that's nice, but I would like a fairy sized journal. This one is, it's about four inches by four inches. It's about four inches by four inches counting these top parts up here. And she said, how about a tiny, tiny, tiny <laughs> fairy journal? So that's where I'm at right now. So come on along and let's get started making that journal. I'm going to get you started on it and then I'll probably come back tomorrow and we can finish it together. So here is my gift to you. I have been playing with this all day, <laughs> fiddling around with it on and off, and I have uploaded this document to my Google Drive, and I will link this below. And this is free. There's no cost to this. You just click on that link, and it takes you right to this document, and you can print it out. So if you have a computer and a printer, just print it right out. I think if you have a phone and a printer, you can print from your phone or you can print from your phone at like Staples or you can, there's just a bunch of ways of doing it, right? So um, I'm sure you can get this done. So you can see I've added that little piece on here and that piece is for the, um, the tape I'm going to use to bind the journal together and there's the spine. Now the spine is one and a quarter by three eighths but if you want a larger spine you just make this a little larger but it's one and three eighths. I'm making rectangle pages so I'm going up one and three eighths and then over two inches so the pages are going to be about that size and this is for Angela's journal. So the pages will be two inches by one and a quarter, and the spine is one and a quarter by three eighths. So again, just click on the link. It takes you to my Google Drive. It takes you right to this, no cost, just print it out. And then Angela and I will be working on our castles. I'm gonna extend this one and make it a little larger, or maybe I'll just copy it out on um, some cardstock and add a little piece to it. And so I believe we're going to use markers or we're going to use color pencils to color them in. Angela hasn't made up her mind yet, but she's excited to get this done. So we have to cut and color and attach the spine and make the pages and sew them in. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So in the meantime, Go to Google Docs and print this out. Put it on something a little bit heavy so that, you know, it'll make a nice journal cover. And cut it out and color it in, and we will get together tomorrow and do our journals and our fairy journals. So thanks for coming along today, and happy fairy-sized journaling. Bye-bye.